Hello, 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 my love bugs. Once again, it is your girl, Lumi Love, here with another message from the divine. As I always say, today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden out your heart, for I am just a messenger, and we are all here to witness and learn. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, somebody, y'all, I'm hearing of, I can't leave you alone. You got me feeling Okay, somebody say you got them feeling. Girl, I'm feeling for you. But it's a secret. <laughs> this person is secretly obsessed with you. Maybe they got to keep it a secret. Yeah, they trying to control themselves. They don't want you to know how far gone you got them, okay? You got me feeling for you. This person only wants you. They turning down offers because people are throwing kitty cat. You better believe it's people out here throwing cat, honey. They throwing cat ass, whatever this man want, cat ass mouth. It's like these women never wanted to give this masculine and this many options. But the fact that he turning that shit down, they losing their mind. They want to find out why. They want to get some hidden insight on who he dealing with now. Who's the new bitch? All right? They want to try to come in and possibly try to get this man to leave you alone. But that shit ain't happening. They want to come in and possibly offer up some coochie to be in a third party. But the shit ain't happening. This masculine ending shit with people he was even cool with. Because he said, damn, anything getting in the way of this girl... And me is not gonna happen never okay he carrying all his little burdens that he had from the past setting them bitches down where they're supposed to go but some of y'all this is a mess that's gonna come in and sweep you off your feet he's ready to get married to you and he's ready to build you a fucking house like with his hands that man know how to put in work, okay? This is a manly man. This is a person that knows how to fix things. He can get up under the hood. He can get and build a house. He can do anything, okay? He's multifaceted. He is a jack of all trades, and he knows that or shows that with his work, all right? And you're the same way. That's why he feels like you're the perfect match. That's why nobody else can do. That's why he ain't taking no cootie from nobody else. Also, you hold yourself at <clears throat> a higher, like, you got morals, Okay, again, these women trying to throw ass and mouth and everything that they ain't never even offered this masculine because they want his attention. You would never. You're not a chaser like that, okay? That's what I'm getting. Neither one of you are a chaser, so it's probably a little communication issue between the both of y'all because, like I said, neither one of y'all chase. Yeah, I'm getting, like, a lot of pulling of the hand, pulling the hand back. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might send him a text message, and one day you really feeling like you like this masculine, and you got him booing the text message, and then him on the other side of the text message, he's surprised as fuck, and he's like, oh, my gosh, how do I respond to this? And he may not even even respond at all it's not because he ignoring you it's because you're just fucking scared of him <laughs> and then let's say vice versa he might reach out and be like okay she always showing me love and text messages let me send her something loving real quick and then he send that shit to you and you shocked as fuck you grinning you smiling you happy but you don't know what to say you know what i'm saying because both of y'all are used to people giving you that effort giving you that energy first and then you just play along with it it's not like you didn't have feelings but shit he hiding his feelings now maybe both of y'all hide y'all feelings because y'all couldn't trust anybody with your energies all right i'm picking up on two divine beings yes that people just try to take from take advantage of y'all are both loving but now y'all finna love on each other all right also this masculine been working hard getting money to come celebrate with you and they been giving to no third parties and telling these bitches i ain't paying for no cootie when i got the best cootie in the world fuck is you talking about i'm hearing that he didn't even pay cootie in the first place okay pay for cootie in the first place he was just nice and caring so if these bitches he was getting cootie from needed some help he would help them he calling them bitches because they was taking advantage of him all right one of them tried to pretend possibly like she was pregnant got an abortion took the money from him and spent the money on something else and he found out that either she was pregnant by another person or she wasn't pregnant at all so he was holding his money back from these bitches anyways he wasn't being that lenient okay it might have been one or two feminists or maybe one that keep trying to pop her ass back in the energy that he did help out because he did have feelings for but she might have been the reason why he started holding his feelings in okay it don't matter she's a bird back to you okay this man got a lot of passion for you and a lot of hard d he only want to come give it to you all right this queen of wands over here next to this wands he's saving up money to come give you an opportunity give you a bouquet give you a ring give you an offer give you a date like this man's gonna give you all that i'm not giving you options he's not gonna give you options he's just gonna give you the whole the whole kit and caboodle is what i heard yeah the whole kit and caboodle let's see the truth about an opportunity What's the truth about this opportunity? This cruise ship. I think this man want to take you on a cruise. It's a little boat back here. He want to go to a beach, private beach, take you on a cruise. Um, he's yeah, like he think about this all the time. He is obsessed with you. He is obsessed with this idea. That's why he been holding his money back so he can have enough money to come and dress you and die down. Cause he wanted enough money to take you on a shopping spree so you can have everything you need to have on this trip so you can look good and feel good. He said, shit, I got the money. You don't worry about the trip. You don't worry about shit. You want some clothes? You need a bathing suit? You got a bathing suit? Like, what you trying to do? What, what, what we about to do? Okay? 
Let's see. Mm, it might have been a moment where this masculine made a mistake. Made a mistake. He had to bounce back. That's why he was getting his money together. Because it was some sort of mistake he made. He had to bounce back. What's this star in reverse? He missed the point to reconcile with you in the past. How so? Because he was working too hard. Working too hard. And with his work, ended up getting him trapped in maybe a situation. Somebody could have got him in trouble at work. He could have got in trouble at work. Um, Could have been, I'm getting maybe the wrong feminine around. Yeah. A wrong feminine. Maybe somebody he used to match up with. Or maybe he used, he met at work. Popped up. Pop, pop. Blah, blah, blah. Can't get it out, y'all. Possibly popped up around where he was. Why was that? Maybe this person, this feminine, got a, a speech impediment. Maybe she can't speak. Maybe he was shocked when she did whatever it was she did, but she got him kicked out of somewhere, got him fired because he didn't want to match up with her. So she retaliated. He felt like, she felt like maybe they would have a sneaky leak or some shit when he was at work. That's who was throwing ass, pulled up on him at work and was like, you want to go somewhere and do this, whatever, like we did that one time. And he was like, hell no. <laughs> he was like, hell no. Man, look, I ain't being funny. He was like, hell no. I don't want none of that. No, thank you. I, I, boo. <sighs> Do the husband on that hoe. And she was so hurt. But yeah, he knew that this person was heartbroken behind that. He knew that it was going to hurt her feelings and he didn't give a damn. It wasn't like he did it on purpose. He'd rather be with you, shit. And he knows she heartbroken about something in the past. It's probably been the one that got pregnant and lied about all that shit or whatever. Or the one that always wanted to come around and keep him in this karmic energy and keep him hurt. We don't care about this bird. We just know she tried him and he ain't letting, him, he ain't letting her try him no more. Okay, she thought she won. She thought, okay, I held him up. But actually the Holy Spirit freed him because he made a choice. A, a conscious choice to come and bring everything he was supposed to bring to you and this woman's greedy okay her greed came out it really showed her greed and she looked like a fool because uh whatever hypnotizing magic she said you was putting on this man why she was like i don't know this girl she was like what the fuck you sleeping with that girl i don't know what she did to you like she hypnotized you or something she probably put that shit on you she put that voodoo on you and that man was like okay and if she did i like it what are you talking about oh my goodness <laughs> If she did, that man said, I don't give a fuck if she had a block of my hair put somewhere. I'm going to give it to her. Oh, my goodness. This girl was, like, sitting there with her mouth wide open. Yes. <laughs> she was sitting there with her mouth wide open for one because she never heard this man talk to her like that before. He never stood up and said no shit like that. And then he had the nerve. She had the nerve to try to attack, attack you with the whole she a witch situation. And this man said, shit, if she was, she bewitched me and I'm good with it. She can witch a motherfucker some more. I cut off a piece of my hair and give it to her right the fuck now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, he said he'll work together with you. Yeah, that was something she said in the past that he was must have. Uh, she was going around telling people that that bitch must be putting something on him or blah blah blah. And you is you putting you you putting something on him that he can't he can't even. What is that he can't shake? You putting something on him that he can't even shake. People gossiping about it. Dudes want to come over there and try and see what it is. Because they know this man don't do shit for nobody, okay? And this man doing everything for you. This man treating you like a wife. Uh, it, like around these people. Talking, talking like good about you. And all kind of stuff. Treating you like you his wife already. And they like, damn, I want to get a piece of that. Mm. Okay, and this woman is even more heartbroken because everybody around want to see what he's talking about. Maybe he even got people in his family that want to come and meet you. And this woman's so fucking mad because she wasn't able to come to his house because she was a hoe. You know what I'm saying? It's like everything this woman wanted, she's trying to compare the shit that you get it when that wasn't her main goal. When she was sitting with this man, her goal was not to meet his family and be his wife. Her goal was to probably get pregnant and get a bag, lie about a pregnancy and get some change. She can't get mad because you are the living embodiment of what this man wants, and she never tried to be that. Like this bitch, is, and when I said try, she ain't got a motherfucking motherly or 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 or, or wifey type bone in her damn body. She don't. She can't see that she's Stevie Wonder to the bullshit. She don't know nothing about a fucking family. Okay. I heard I don't know nothing about birthing no babies. She don't know nothing, but she was gonna try to put herself in a position to to to, to have to do all that and wrong judgment. Wrong judgment for her to try to come and fight this situation, for her to try to stand and block this masculine from coming to you. Wrong, wrong thing, wrong thing, girl. We talk about the wrong thing. This masculine is standing his guard to that bullshit. She trying to come and tell him because he wanna be with you. And he also not about to let her cause any conflict for you because he bring this love opportunity. Okay, so he possibly also cussed her ass out and said if you take one step, man, I'm telling you this was a negative message this woman did not want she wish she didn't get it um he told her 
you're not gonna mess with my motherfucking feminine. That's gonna be my baby mama, my wife, my everything. Um, I think somebody might have told her that this masculine bought something for you, bought a ring um for you or whatever or she just feel like it's gonna happen because y'all about to go on this trip damn i'm telling you i think he got some family members that know and somebody told her one of the family members came back and told her that he finna try to marry you he finna get in this relationship he moving off to calm waters and she tried to stop it but she's not able to stop it because whatever message she was trying to send to whoever whatever third party that told her about what this message said he wasn't with it okay so she came to his job tried to offer cootie went through a family member still trying to offer cootie and this man don't want shit to do with her because this man said i got the best I got the best feminine in the world, okay? And her coochie A1. You could never, you could never. Yeah, this man's gonna wanna come bring you something, bring you a cup of love, bring you an offer, and be your man. What's this lovers? She upset about this relationship. She's also upset about your innocent energy. She's upset that she can't dig up no trash on you. She upset that you don't have any trash to dig up. She's upset that you're not a messy ass person. You don't sit around and gossip. You're not in no bullshit with nobody. You're not related to nobody. Well, if you are related to people who own bullshit, you don't talk to them. Like this woman is so mad with you because you have nothing going on in secret and she feel like this man moving and he doing something in secret and she can't figure the fuck out what it is because he not talking to her but whatever okay this man said he tired of hanging out with these birds and he want to come over there and be with you and that's exactly what he gonna do and y'all gonna go on this cruise ship y'all gonna be on this beach it's a lot of beach energy okay so this could possibly be happening still in these warmer months okay could happen sometime all the way up until august you know it don't get cold to about well it don't get cold down here in the south until about um like after Halloween around that time or whatever so 9 to like 10 you know you and this mess man got a lot of time to do whatever it is and he might be taking you on a cruise possibly y'all might leave a port somewhere in South Florida you know y'all about to have some fun y'all about to go out here cause he really want to get you out in this heat cause he want to see you in a bathing suit he want to see you dressed in nice little dresses and half naked and being comfortable alright <laughs> Yeah, he want to see you in some shorts and some shit. He want to see you in a dress. Like, he want to see you, damn, okay, dancing maybe, but he want to see you dressed up with some lingerie. Mm -hmm. It don't necessarily have to be a dress either. I'm seeing some of y'all with this badass pantsuit, one-piece pantsuit, like not a, you know, two-piece pantsuit, but like a one-piece you know what I'm saying? With the out, with the with the with the middle open and the titty sitting up in the thing, looking like they flawless, honey. You gonna be looking wonderful out here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Whatever you put on, you are gonna be looking great. This man said he can't wait to see you do it how you do it. Okay, so maybe how you may. This man got a lot of money, so you may not have as much money as this man has right now, but you're a hard-ass working woman, and he knows that you deserve nice things, and he wants to buy you a bunch of nice things so you can feel real good. When you look good, you feel good, and he wants you to feel like this angel when he take you on this trip, okay? We even got the lover's car back here with these angel wings in the background. Like, this man just finds you the most innocent, beautiful thing ever, but he knows that that body is bodying, and he's trying to see what that thing do in these clothes with a magnifying glass. He's trying to manifest... He's giving you the encouragement. With this money, he giving you the encouragement to go in there and get sexified, okay? He said, bring sex back. Let me see that ass in different dresses. Like, he might take you somewhere and tell you to try on your shit, and he come, you, you just come out, you know, trying on your clothes. You like this, you like that, and he's just marveling. I'm seeing, like, stars in this man's eyes when you come out dressed in your shit, and he's just going to give you more and more and more. And it's not like just money because he feel like, oh, you want money. It's because he fucking got it. That was the whole purpose of the Holy Spirit giving you this man. In some lifetime, you were deprived of funds. In this lifetime, you were deprived of funds and wealth and, and, and things that you could do. And this man said, no, never no more. Come get whatever the fuck you want. Whatever you see, whatever you lay your eyes on, anything you desired as a child, I'm going to get that for you. I work hard for you, okay? <laughs> All right, this person said he work hard for you, honey. <clears throat> Which is, you know, bringing a ruin to a lot of different people. All right, who is this four swords? Yeah, she tried to deceive him with this STD. I don't think she know that he knows she had this STD or possibly that she ended up getting pregnant and doing all that weird stuff because he stopped talking to her. It was like a re -redurchy. He ain't say nothing else. He was just out. He ghosted her. So she probably needs some form of clarity or that's just what she using because she know clean. Yeah, that's why she freaking out because she know good and well what the hell she did behind this masculine back, but she only freaking out and acting crazy because she know that he not talking to her. So she's trying to figure out what all does he know. He don't give a fuck about that. This man is, uh, like I said, a river dirty. He is getting the fuck on and he is getting the fuck on to come over there with you. Y'all might be having a picnic on this beach too. He gonna give you some flowers. Mm -hmm. He gonna give you some flowers. That's cute. You like flowers? Kind of hint at what flowers you like. You might like roses, lilies, 
something like that damn he gonna get off in that flower on that beach you better believe yes he is damn again with the beach y'all gonna be on this beach and this man gonna get him some cootie he y'all gonna be on a new beach bro y'all might get out that cruise ship get on a new beach <laughs> and he gonna really test that thing out okay he is gonna be all behind you it's gonna be some back action i'm telling you that right now i don't know bring a bigger blanket is what i'm hearing don't be bring, bring bring like big towels beach towels don't be bringing them damn hotel towels or them cruise ship towels no you need to go get y'all some big body towels while he taking your shopping and shit okay you don't want nobody seeing the naked ass because i'm telling you you're gonna be doubting like should i do it should i not do it because he gonna tell you to toot it up and turn it to the side y'all will be laying sunbathing or just laying out in the sun under the umbrella and he gonna tell you to toot that thing up and turn it to the side and let him get it and um you're gonna be like i don't know if we can so just to kill all that girl just already come with a big blanket or some shit okay <laughs> Bring you something to cover up your naked ass because you're going to be naked, child. Some of y'all, this is when the seed is going to get planted right there on that beach. You might have your water sign child or you might have your child that's connected to mermaids, baby. Mermaid spirits. A beautiful thing, beautiful thing. Full intimacy, okay? What I'm hearing is that... <laughs> I'm hearing this love is a sure thing, but I'm, I'm also hearing that they couldn't mama get wetter, wetter than the beach do. That's why he... What What is it? What they say? Why you go? To, why, why would you go to the beach? Why you bring sand to the beach? His is why you bring the water to the beach. He's so fucking funny. Y'all might have some sort of... Uh, if you're not going on a cruise ship, y'all might like go and get a condo, beachside condo or some shit like that, you know? But this person feels like being with you is beyond words and they're ready to come and tell you what they have planned for y'all outside of all these hate ass people okay yeah y'all are most definitely gonna travel y'all are gonna see the world during this trip balancing unity he's going to give you something that's going to balance out you guys relationships or offer to either go together get engaged or get married okay y'all gonna be having a lot of sex a lot a lot a lot of sex and that's just fine because y'all got a lot of healing y'all had to do okay he's emphasis on the cootie mama he think it tastes like fruit he about to put his face face first in it so he can see if it tastes like fruit i'm gonna just tell you right now he's gonna taste your cootie once and after that he gonna order every time every time y'all do it there's no that you gonna have to end up moving in with this person i feel like because ain't gonna be no room for no quickies the stuff that y'all gonna be doing with each other after y'all experiment and get real freak nasty ain't no room for no quickies this man already don't want nobody else getting that cootie and once he get a taste of it i'm telling you this man is gonna be willing to taste it all the time so just get ready for it if you ain't never had no attention or uh, somebody pay attention to your body parts uh this man will all right also loving gay beautiful face he love to look at you so he ready to sit back and watch you get dressed i'm telling you this man is gonna have you come model these clothes for him Oh, this is so sweet. This is this this is the ideal robot. Damn, the candle popped it out. Y'all might be popping bottles, popping champagne, okay? Popping out. He might pop ideal romance. I don't know. I think that was just confirmation to so say, let's go to these cards over here because this is what the people want. <laughs> so let's see. Something about a month. Maybe this will happen in a month. He going to ask you uh, to move in with him. Mm -hmm. He going to be using them fingers. Churn going to come out of this situation. You done called in your soulmate. What is he going to do with these fingers? Oh. Okay. He feel like he like touching on your cootie mama. He feel like he ain't got to touch. He feel like. He said you got a, a pretty. A pretty. A, a pretty listy girl. He. <laughs> he wants to touch on your cootie and make you bite on your lip. He said he missed it. He ain't touching it so long. He really missed it. He's going to call you maybe on a weekday and let you know about these plans or call you on a weekday so he can come over there and pet that cat child. He said you got real, real soft skin and he like when you talk to him dirty. He ready to see that jello booty. He want to smack on it. You are his baby. He going to give you a baby. He want to make love to some music possibly because you get a little loud. So he kind of want to like drown out the noise a little bit. I don't know where y'all going to be getting down at, but he don't want no noise complaints, okay? He said he going to hold on to them love handles from the back. He gonna suck on your neck while he playing with your pretty ussy. He's physically affectionate, so he wants to show you that. I don't know what I should say. Cootie mama ussy, y'all just gonna have to keep up with it. Just know I did not say the P-U-S-S-Y word. <laughs> I said uh with a, with a, just a U because honey, what keep popping out? Feet? Something about feet. What's up with these feet? He's obsessed with your feet. You're going to be surprised by how you get aroused by someone messing with your feet. No one's ever done this for you before, but he's going to do it every time or he's going to have to do it every time because it really turns you on to get you wet. I think this may go suck on your toes. I don't know. I don't know if you had that before or what, hun bun, but that's what he wants to do. Why are these cars? He don't want me to tell too much. Y'all see how they keep flipping back and flipping back? 
He said you made him nut fast. He smells you when you're not around. He smells your cootie when you're not around. I'm telling you, this man, and I don't, I hate to make it sound like a weirdo, but he really, really like you. Like, he ready to, this is so, I'm just going to say it. He been using his fingers before, and after he used his fingers, after y'all done, he might smell his hand. You know, smell check, make sure everything all right. Maybe he slide it down there, do a little smell check, make sure everything all right. But, um, he ended up, like, getting a little bit on his top lip. And he did all what he had to do was cleaned up and all that stuff like that. And, like, he smelled it later on his top lip. And he was like, hmm, I don't mind that. And he kind of, like, liked it. And he wanted to leave it there, but he didn't want, like, to be unsanitary. But he kind of liked smelling it. So now, since he experienced smelling it that far up close, I don't know if he got a little, like, mustache or whatever, he smells it when you're not around, and he smells it when he wants it, like a dog. He like when you submit to him in bed, okay? He said you drive him crazy. That's why he want to take you on this trip, because he needs to have that thing all the time. Okay, don't play with him. I'm here, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Just lay in it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this person said, maybe, shit, he said he wants you to ride him and maybe you want to get up there. He said he going to pull you down on it, though, maybe by your love handles. He wants you to know that he's always going to protect you and he got a lot of stamina, okay? So basically, he's a clean person. He's not sleeping with nobody else. He ain't got no STDs and no weird ass shit, okay? If y'all do some freak nasty, he's not going to exploit you. If y'all make a video, he's not going to exploit you. He's going to protect you. You his woman, okay? This person might possibly have an accent or y'all might go, you know, overseas somewhere and people have an accent. Uh, he might know how to speak the language. You might not vice versa he want them lights off he want them lights off why y'all have real sex maybe the lights gonna be off when y'all start and y'all end up in real sex because i'm hearing something like a uh what is that a girl you gonna be twerking in the pool what is you doing hope y'all ain't having rough sex in that pool y'all do things I don't think you're supposed to be getting water up in your cavity in there. Y'all might want to just, you know, hey. But anyways, uh, you can be twerking in the pool, girl. I don't know why. Maybe your bathing suit gonna look good on you, and he gonna have a little music playing, and that might be your song. Maybe you get drunk, and maybe you get loose, child. He said he gonna figure out who that is up in there. They like to get real nasty like that. Okay, the sex is amazing. This connection is true. You, this masculine turns you on. Okay, he wants you to show him how you please yourself, and he want to see it happen from the back. Well, so maybe he gonna ask you to toot that ass up in a certain position, then he gonna say, uh, you know, get it ready for me, and he wants you to touch on it, and he wanna watch you do it. My gosh. Maybe he also want to touch on it from the back while you give him some brain. And he said add a little extra spit to it because that's what he like. And it might be in the car when you do it, okay? Uh, this person is very handsome, okay? Ooh, and mystical. Not handsome and mystical. Indigo spirit getting up in there. All right, new love is here. Oh, wow. He got a handsome a dangling, too. It's real clean, real nice. See, he'll protect you. See, he ain't around here being nasty. He care about himself, okay? And that's one thing I always have to say. If you're dealing with a masculine and he out here sleeping with all different types of women, that's a motherfucker that don't care about they self. And if they don't care about themselves, they're not going to care about you. And that'll be the first one to come bring you some shit, okay? Keep it to yourself, baby, because it's worth it. Now, he got a handsome thing thing, and he said you got a pretty cootie cat. Y'all going to be up in there doing what it is that y'all need to do. Uh, he might end up going to get you a little cootie pill so you can feel something a little extra maybe the cootie pill has to be something gonna be inserted in the back maybe i left it in oops okay for some of y'all i'm just gonna say this your cootie might be so wet that he accidentally slips in your back though i don't know if you like that i don't know if you ever did that but i just want to warn you it's gonna happen oops okay <laughs> This also may happen on the weekend when he take you on this shopping spree and do all of this stuff for you, okay? So, girl, just love on this man because he damn sure about to come love on you. Also, this I left it in. Oops. It said, baby. Mm. When he pull you down up on that thing and that thing feel like a suction cup to him, he gonna end up releasing. And, um, oops. There go y'all, baby. Okay, he said he like when you get loud. That's why he be going so hard. Whoa, that's why he put all that long stuff up in there. Okay, he said he like when you put it all in your mouth. You put the whole thing in your mouth, child. That's what he said. He said when he look at you, he will see what he want to do to you. Possibly you do the same thing. They dreaming about using your mouthpiece on this masculine. You like when he smack your ass. He like when he smack your ass. And he going to be not pulling out from this point on. Okay? He might even get to a point where he want to give you a little massage in the morning. Um, And y'all end up having morning sex. He is trying to bring out that undercover freak. He said put the put the freak on top of the covers. What is you talking about? Why she under the cover? Put the freak on top of the covers. <laughs> 
Let's see. Yeah, man, in the morning. Yeah, it's just something about massaging each other private parts, bro. This man love to see you happy. Yep. The tip, choking on the tip. He wants you to put it all the way in your mouth, and he wants you to use both hands. <laughs> Ooh, it's going to bring a smile to his face. All right? This person said once he turn you around, he want to smile. Well, he's going to be smiling because he likes to see you from the back. He's going to kiss you on your back after he asks you how you like to do it. A lot of dirty talk going on. Lingerie coming off. I'm hearing you need the lingerie that don't have the, the panty part, like the lingerie that the cootie part and the booty part open because he... Uh, finna get all up in there whispering, okay? Flowers, what I told you. What's this? He thinks you are very beautiful, honey, okay? This is an unspoken relationship as of now, but it will be all spoken about once y'all get on this trip and y'all get everything done, okay? All right, y'all. What you say, sir? Hold on, y'all. He ain't gonna let us go. something he remembers oh this is gonna be a night to remember yeah this night to remember about this new love child all right y'all this is it this is all my loves hope you got everything you needed i'm gonna go ahead and clear the table and we will get into another one so we'll be in the next one